Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. It's me, Daniel. Happy that you're here today. You have seen already the title, I know. It's again about AI in software testing and I'm really happy to give you another update from the Testem product point of view. I have done already a couple of videos about Tresentis Testem, so take a look at them here to get a quick introduction of Testem and its powerful features that can help you in order to build your robust test automation solution. So as I said, it's about AI and I mean, AI is around for years now in our industry. And I heard from many of you that AI is somehow stressful for you because you think your job gets uh, eliminated or something like that. But I don't think so. I think it's just, it's just disrupting our industry. And I think it's the first time in history that white color jobs getting disrupted that big with the technology of AI. I mean, we had a similar disruption from in the industry when the mobile devices were introduced in 2007 by Apple and it changed a lot in the industry from, okay, apps, apps, apps and smaller device integrations. And now AI is taking this to just another level. Yeah. And, and I'm really happy that AI is coming around the corner because it gives us much more powerful features and support when we do our testing activities from getting more information about the system, getting more help at right at the fingertips, get more knowledge when we need it right at the fingertips. So it's really, really cool. Really looking forward to all the AI tech coming around. And as I mentioned before, I've done the videos about Testem before. And if you don't know Testem yet, I really highly recommend you to watch those videos. They're also down in the video description for you to follow up because then you get the bigger picture about Testem. What is this all about? What can it do for you? And also some additional topics that I'm already presented. And today it's all about the Testem Copilot that was just launched by the Testem people. And I would like to show you hands on what it can do for you in order to build faster, more robust test automation solutions for you. So let's jump right into the hands-on demonstration. So as we can, as you can see here, we're starting on the Testem.io landing page. You get all the information about Testem, what it's all about, what you can do with it so you can grow test coverage faster, eliminate costly maintenance, identify and resolve problems faster and scale up your quality. You can get a free trial access if you follow the, the, follow, uh, the action button over there, get Testem for free access. You can give, give it a try, see how it works for you and to really see the powerful features. And now the, the Testem Copilot is new, the new kit on the block, so to say, right? So you can really um, speed up your test creation documentation much faster. And we will see that in a second. Other than that, you can see some more information on the landing page here. You can also see that Tresentis Test Management for Jira is there. You can combine it together with Testem. So it is a really powerful combination of your tool chain. But this is just a landing page you can read yourself. I would really like to show you hands on what Testem Copilot is all about. Um, what I always do is I always quickly show the, the test and documentation or the documentation itself. So what you can do with a copilot actually. And with a test, test and copilot, you can do um, write test scripts. You can generate new test scripts. You can fix them. You can explain them. And you can do this with the following steps within test them. So as you can see here, you can use the copilot to add custom actions, custom validations, custom wait for elements, the validation of network, uh, the CLI validation, download validation and the custom conditions. And then here is like, as, as always on the test and documentation, really well described what you can do with Copilot, right? Again, if you'd like to read it, check the video description down below to find all the links. But now we jump into Testem. So let's see how we can use Testem Copilot in action. So if you're here on the overview page of your test and validation step. I just created a very first step. This one is calling my blog adventures in QA, setting up the system under test, just calling the, um, the blog page, right? So what you need to do in order to create a custom AI step is basically click that little plus icon. Then there is like a floating menu um, option that is coming around. And then there we have M, test him predefined steps. And if we click on that one, we can already see a hey, we have a custom action AI powered solution. So we click over there here and we say, okay, uh, check menu of the 
block a uh, given name, which says say create a step. And we can see here we have a, a baked in JavaScript editor that we can use in order to write our own JavaScript. So for here you have like code completion if you type um, if you have a character, or if we take a look over here, we can write code with AI. So we do this, of course. So as you can see here, we have the testing interface of the copilot. It says, welcoming Daniel, I can help you write JavaScript code in custom steps, such as add custom action, validation steps, the list that I've shown you before. By typing the slash, you can see what copilot can do for you. And it says, I can generate, I can explain, and I can fix code. But we would like to, to generate something. So we do like this, generate, and then we say, okay, verify the uh, navigation elements of the system under test. And the system under test here is basically my blog. And as you can see on the right hand side, I have different navigation elements over here. And I would like to verify them that they are all present. So we type this one. And then we have Copilot doing its magic. It says working on it. And voila, we can see we got some JavaScript. And let's take a look at the navigation elements. It says, okay, home about services contact, okay? Maybe I was not precise enough on what the system under test is in that case, no problem. We can just say, okay, uh, generate, um, change the navigation, navigate, navigation elements to home publications, publications, YouTube channel, about me and media data. Voila, we just say do like this. It keeps the context as we know from uh, AI. And then we have basically the correct steps over here. And we just press the little tiny, tiny button that says paste code at cursor. And we have our custom step written based with AI. And we just hit the save button. We don't need a message, we save it. Now we go back to the test and overview and you can see here the, just the, the, the custom JavaScript code block was basically added. And then we can go over here and we can say execute. Yeah, and see here, it's opening my web block and then it's running the script and voila, done. So super fast in writing your JavaScript code. Fairly, fairly simple. Um, so what, what else can we do? I mean, we have it now the, the code snippet over here. We can do like, okay, let's let's do something like we would like to fix it. Um, uh, I don't know, let's let's remove, let's let's do like this. We, we, add, we add a mistake over here. We save it, we say yes. So we have the validation step um, saved. We go back to the overview and we are again executing it and then it should fail yeah because it's something is wrong in our javascript now let's see and it's running let's see what's going to happen still running something is going on because it takes much longer let's see what's going to happen and as you can see there is an error element match is not defined so there's something wrong here and in order to like to do the debugging stuff we go over here, so it says yes, clicking away this one, and then we can say slash fix the, uh, what was it, the, um, let, let's say, let's fix the error in the script. We do like this, yeah. Let's see, it says working on it, yeah. And then it says, the code verifies the navigation elements da, 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 are present on the system under test. It compares, uh, it explains actually what we're doing. And as you can see over here, it already fixes the wrong or the, the, the bug that I introduced. And now we can do like this. Now, okay, that this was wrong. We was my mistake. We could do like this. Now we have it fixed again. So it actually um, was, was, was fixing the test. We can hit save again click save, go back, and then we execute it again. And this should run much faster now. Again, open up my blog, fixed, 
test fixed. Yes, it worked. Super cool. Um, and, and we already have seen another feature that I would like to show you. It's basically the, the explanation, right? So for example, over here, we can do like this. You can always ask the AI in highlighting the code. So here I just mark the code snippet and then we can say, okay, what is this all about? Fix highlighted code. We can do it again over here, either from the prompt or right from here, or you have the explain code. And then if you hit that one, you can say, okay, let's explain that code please for me. And it says now we have a different um, um, overview. It's okay. This code is checking the navigation elements specified in the navigation's element array match the actual elements present. It first converts both array strings to using JSON stringify, blah, blah, blah. And so that's really cool. So it, it can really fix it. And now let's see if we get rid of this one again. And then we just say, okay, um, AI, let's see if it also fixed the highlighted code over here. And if the S that I just introduced is again fixed, and yes, it's fixing it over here. We have here the right code and we can just go over here and fix it all done. And that's super cool, right? So and that, that's basically the, the features that I would like to show you with Test and Copilot. I mean, based on your test scripts, your test automation, your, your, your custom steps that you already implemented. If you have so, please go and go ahead and try out Test and Copilot to see if it helps you in order to work faster on your JavaScript uh, code generation or fixing or whatever explanation. I think it's super easy and super cool to use all in the testing interface. And that's that what I think makes the difference. Everything adds, it's um, at your fingertip basically. Yeah, and, and that was the video for today. And let me know what you think about testing scope pilot. If you use test them already, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear about it and see how you're using the product in action. And last but, to not last but not least to mention is like check the video description down below to get a link to the free trial access for 30 days for the test and co-pilot. Also see the videos about test and before to learn all about test them. And with that, I'm saying happy. Thank you that you're here today. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it to support me, spread the word with the community. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye bye.